Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Tarot Oracle card deck review. And today we will be reviewing the Herbal Tarot by Michael Tierra and Candace Canton. And what I find unique about this deck and what inspired me to buy this deck is that each card has a different herb on it. And I love herbs. I, I love growing them. I, I've grown dill. I grow sage. I grow rosemary. I grow oregano. <laughs> And this is just a beautiful theme uh, for a tarot deck. Uh, and let's take a look at the cards. And I just literally received these for my birthday. These were a present from my mom. And I can't wait to see what the cards look like. I just open the packaging. The box is just your average, like, playing card box. Uh, just a regular, you know, flip-top box. And inside, of course, you will find the deck uh, and the booklet. And the booklet is just a very, very basic booklet, as you could see. Nothing fancy. But uh, inside the booklet, you're going to get uh, different descriptions of each of the cards. Now, there aren't any pictures of the cards. Basically, what it does is it just tells you what the card is, what type of herb uh, is on the, the card, uh, what the uh, herb is used for, uh, what the divinatory meanings are of the herb. Um, if you get a reversed card, it'll give you the reversed meaning. So very, very interesting. Um, uh, I like the fact that, you know, it will tell you what the uh, herb use is as well. Uh, very, very interesting concept. So very, very basic card deck. Okay, and it goes through all of the cards. And it is a 78 card tarot deck. And the cards are absolutely beautiful. First of all, look at the backs. Such a beautiful, beautiful pattern. This looks like rosemary. And uh, the cards are like a longer type of card. And they're well made. Uh, they're like a matte finish. They're not glossy. And uh, they're nice cards. Um, my hands aren't the biggest hands or the smallest hands. They're just average. And these cards fit nice in my hand. And uh, let's see how they feel to shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. And let's take a look at these cards. Okay. How beautiful is that? We have the Three of Cups, okay, and we have Trillium. And, of course, like the focal points will be the herbs, like I've mentioned. Uh, Yuva Ursi, the Two of Cups. Lotus, beautiful lotus flower down here for the Ace of Cups. Alfalfa, surrounding this King of Pentacles. And the very basic colors, you have your red, blue, yellow, and green, the four uh, primary colors. And very, very nice idea to dress up uh, a tarot deck, you know, with these herbs. Marshmallow for the Queen of Pentacles. Ella Campane uh, for the Knight of Pentacles. Blue Flag, how beautiful is that, for the Page of Pentacles. It has a very earthy feeling to it, this card. And we have Wild Yam for the Ten of Pentacles. Dark Grapes for the Nine of Pentacles. And she's surrounded by grapevines. And we have the Pentacles down here. Eight of Pentacles is Ginger. We have Rhubarb as the Seven of Pentacles. Hope. Or Hope. <laughs> Hops. Um, as the Six of Pentacles. Mugwort for the Five of Pentacles. Cascara Bark for the Four of Pentacles. Gentian for the Three of Pentacles. Yellow Dock for the Two of Pentacles. What a beautiful, beautiful herb. And then we have Whole Grains for the Ace of Pentacles. Of course, we have the introductory cards. Then we have Ginseng for the Fool. 
Astragalus for the magician. Peony for the high priestess, and I love Peony. I'm growing peonies in my backyard for the first time, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Dong Quay for the empress. A tri cannot pronounce this word. A tri Tylotus, the emperor. Sage, my absolute favorite for the high priest. Parsley for the lovers. <laughs> How interesting that is. They're, they're in between the, the parsley sprigs. The chariot is cypress. Cayenne for strength. You think of a strong, strong uh, taste with cayenne. Licorice for the hermit. And that is so beautiful. Slippery elm for the medicine wheel. I guess that's the wheel. Uh, justice is plantain. Kelp for the suspended person. Interesting, which is the hangman, the suspended person. Elder flowers for death. Echinacea for temperance, balance. Lobelia. Okay, and it says pan, the devil. And we have garlic for the tower. And they don't even have the name. Oh, here it is over here. I was going to say I'm used to the names of the herbs in the middle. You could barely see that garlic. And how powerful and potent is garlic? Just like the crumbling of the tower. That's a very good, uh, good comparison. And skull cap for the star. Lemon balm for the moon. Beautiful. Angelica for the sun. Golden Seal for Judgment, Comfrey for the Worlds, St. John's Wart for the King of Swords, Lady Slipper for the Queen of Swords, Wild Cherry Bark for the Knight of Swords, Dill for the Page of Swords, one of my favorite herbs, Ephedra for the Ten of Swords, Valerian for the Nine of Swords, and you know, notice that like I said, the herb, okay, and its medicinal and healing purposes are actually symbolic of what the card is. I mean, there's this woman here, you know, all worried and inside her head and, and not being able to relax. We have Valerian. Uh, black Kohosh for the Eight of Swords. Wood Betini, Betini, I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly, for the Seven of Swords. Vervain for the Six of Swords. Mistletoe for the Five of Swords. Mullein for the Four. You get the picture where there's going to be an herb, there's going to be a name. It's going to kind of be symbolic of what the meaning of the card is and maybe like a healing or treatment type of purpose. And, and again, I'm not giving medical advice. Always consult a physician if something is, you know, not right with your, your health. Uh, but these are very interesting cards if you're someone who studies herbs like I do and their healing properties. Um, I'm all into the holistic thing. Very, very interesting cards. Very beautiful, beautiful pictures. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I'm very glad that I purchased these cards. Uh, these are great uh, for a beginner. Uh, they are great for um, an advanced card reader. Uh, to me, they're a, a very good uh, learning implement because you're going to learn about the herbs by reading the book. And if you're familiar with tarot, you know, maybe you'll just, you know, concentrate on the tarot aspect and not necessarily the herbs. But this is a wonderful thing uh, paired together. I really, really love these cards. I'm glad that my mom purchased them. <laughs> She's the one that actually purchased them because they were a birthday present for me. And I'm so glad that she did. Um, this is going to be a great addition to my uh, collection. Uh, these are going to be wonderful to work with. Very interesting concept. Um, if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back. Take care.